Someone is calling me. Yes, Ali, good evening. Yes, good evening. What can I do for you? You tried to call me and, and you were being cut off. So what can I do for you, Ali? What can I do for you? I said, what can I do for you? Well, you send me a message that you have a buyer on the ground. Where is your buyer coming from? Where, where? The buyer is from the uh, And then? What you want from... And, uh, what uh, what uh, he want? He wanted, uh, he wanted CIA. Uh, uh, it wouldn't work, CIF. Ali, your buyer has no money. He's going to leverage. He can only afford to pay cost insurance and freight. That's why they are ask he's asking for CIF. CIF means cost insurance and freight, Ali. So don't waste your time with that buyer. I don't think 13 buyers, uh, Ali, that uh, buyers already on the ground. It's too messy. It's too easy. Don't waste the time, Ali, with those buyer that already on the ground. Meaning to say, that buyer encountered disaster already. He was been window shopping in Sierra Leone, Mali, Conakry, Ghana, Zimbabwe, Burkina Faso, Uganda, DRC. If the buyer already on the ground, Ali, meaning to say, he was looking for cheap price, and he is using you. He's using you to run around, and you are just naive. I don't deal that like that. I don't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I have, I have this code, I have this code, um, uh, yeah. I'm live at the moment, Ali. Watch my video. Bye. Ali, I'm live on you on Facebook. Just watch and listen so that you will learn. Don't be carried away with a with a buyer that already on the ground. Don't be carried away. Okay. I feel sorry for you, Ali. You've been carried away by the buyer. I have to leave you because I'm live at the moment. Okay. Okay, then bye. Good evening, everyone. Today is Sunday, February 21st. Wilhelmina been interviewing a lot of potential buyer because this is world asset you're buying. You're buying money. Now, my topic today is LOI and CIF. Uh, this morning, I have so many uh, buyers asking uh, CIF. CIF stands for cost insurance and freight only. And that particular buyer has no money, he's going to leverage. Meaning to say, he will come to Africa, he will say, okay, I will buy gold to pay taxes. That is called leveraging. And then he bring it to his destination. He will resell it to his own customer. Then his end customer will pay that particular trader whatever the price of the day. Then that is the time that the trader pay my seller. It wouldn't work at all. That is why I'm here live to explain and summarize. Now the topic is, um, is saying that what is LOI means? Most of you, or buyer's mandate, or online joker, broker, excuse my language again. LOI means letter of intent to buy, or letter of intent to purchase coming from you, Mr. Buyer. 
it's here i explain it i summarize it just like an elementary now i think you mislead yourself that i'm the only person who put everything online and i explain it very clear and simple just like an elementary even grade one or grade two can understand my explanation mm -hmm. so loi means once you watch wilhelmina's video okay you have to pay attention and read the full corporate offer is in front of you subscribe and click below either you're gonna subscribe on facebook or subscribe on youtube now the process of buying gold in Conakry, Guinea, Bamako, Mali, and Sierra Leone. It is very crucial for you, Mr. Buyer, if you don't have the cash, if you're asking for CIF. I just finished talking to Al, okay, that uh, his buyer asking for CIF. It wouldn't work at all. In Africa, transaction is cash business. If you're scared, to travel to Africa, don't be involved in gold business because gold business is a very tricky. Gold business is only good for a real buyer, not a joker buyer. I call you joker, why? <laughs> You've been roaming around. <laughs> I was talking to this gentleman. He's been roaming around for a year. Yeah, that's why I call you joker. <laughs> so bear my, my language. <laughs> Because you are a joker. Because gold business and diamond is not a joke business. This is real business. This is money you're buying to make money. Now, going back to buying gold in West Africa. I only handle Conakry, Guinea, Bamako, Mali, and Sierra Leone. Now, you have to pay attention watching my video. <coughs> Excuse me. Because... I'm the only person who put everything online. This is my online office. Today is Sunday. And I'm supposed to relax. But my phone keep on ringing and ringing people urging me to respond to their inquiry. Even though it's Sunday. My, um, my um, free time is only three hours. I don't have any rest because... You are important when you send me a message. Just like here I have two or uh, three phones, right? Plus my landline. Okay, my landline. I have three phones ringing at the same time. People are inquiring or urging to buy gold. But they are not a buyer. They are online time waster but i entertain them so that they would understand and they don't read <laughs> they don't you are not reading mr buyer if i mention your name you're gonna be you're gonna be um, embarrassed so i would not mention your name but i will just share it to the world so that the buyer future buyer would understand i think someone is um who oh, someone is just a moment uh, someone is uh, I'm going to, someone is, oh, Angkor, good evening. You're asking where I, where I came from. Did you not watch the video that I came from Australia? I am handling sales and marketing, Angkor. The gold coming from Conakry, Guinea. Gold coming from Mali and Sierra Leone. I am the extension, Angkor. I'm the extension digital office. This is my office. Now, Another, Ryan, Ryan, do not ask me a customer from Malaysia. Do you have a customer from Malaysia? Yes, I have a buyer from Malaysia, but I would not tell who is the name of my buyer because we protect our buyer's privacy. Yeah, so Riz G, Ryan, Ryan, good evening. This is Walamina. I'm based in Australia, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Okay. So, Angkor, where are you coming from, Angkor? Or you are from India. Next time, Angkor, when you roam around, just pay attention. Pay attention what you are reading. 
because you know when you come to Wilhelmina, I would give you the blunt answer. Go back and read. Now, this is my platform. This is my office at the same time. Now, I'm explaining about what is the meaning of LOI. LOI means letter of intent to buy. If you are just brokering, brokering, I'm sorry, you will fail because I'm going to reject you that you are not a buyer. We are here to do business directly to the buyer. That is why I'm always live after them the buyer's conversation privately i immediately come live in order to share what my conversation because most of the buyer most of you are naive most of you asking lc asking cif asking is blc now cif means cost insurance and freight only how about paying the gold okay and then you're asking lc letter of credit you don't have the cash you're going to leverage you're going to borrow you're going to use the contract to bring that to your bank in order for your bank to release the money two months two months we cannot wait for 90 days of your lc you're gonna go to the bank and make a verbiage to me too too many times and you're wasting the time this is cash business we don't deal buyers that asking for LC. You have to build your credibility before we're going to give you LC or CIF because you don't know us and you don't you don't know me and you don't my seller doesn't know you so you need to build your credibility just like when when you borrow money in the bank. Okay? You want to buy a property or you want to buy a car. So the bank will say do you have a pattern of savings? Do you have savings in your bank account before the bank will allow you to borrow money? Because what is your guarantee? Now, this, this gold is asset you are buying. This is money you are buying. So why are you going to borrow the money in the bank as LC and you're using gold as a, as a collateral? I think... You should not be in business. Before you're going to be in business, you should have a standby capital. Because gold is money you're buying. You're buying world assets. You are not buying banana here. You're not buying bread. This is money you're buying. That is why you fail. Then you, you go on YouTube. Then you go on Facebook. You saw Wilhelmina and you're excited. You have to read first before you come to Alamina. So now, going back to this, I'm going to read it in front of you. As I've said to you, what is LOI? LOI stands for Letter of Intent to Purchase. Letter of Intent to Buy coming from you. You need to introduce yourself. There, Mrs. Ford, I watch your video on YouTube channel and on Facebook. Can you explain about gold? Well, did you read it? Because here is very explanatory. Very. So you, I want you to read. I want you to digest it. Because this is for you, not for me. Just a moment. Someone is sending me a message. Okay. Okay. I'm a diamond dealer. So why are you come to me, Angkor? If you are selling diamond, why are you come to me? Mm. We are the seller. We have gold and diamond, okay? So don't uh, tell me that you are a, you're a diamond uh, seller or dealer. If you're a buyer, just go on my page. What you see, what you get. Mm -hmm. Okay, show me your license. You will only see the license of the seller when you convince me, Angkor. You don't know me. I want you to show me your business registration. I want you to prove to me that you are capable to buy. We will show you the license of my head office. I will not float around the license of my seller because most of you are floating around and soliciting information. Can you imagine you cannot even explain it? So if you are a buyer, 
come to Wilhelmina privately or go on my main page, right? Scroll down. Look at what you're looking for. If you're looking for diamond, you scroll on every pages. Then when you are ready, then you convince Wilhelmina you are a buyer. Because we don't send you my seller's mining license. We don't know you and you don't know us. You need to introduce yourself, Anchor. You need to introduce, there will Amina, I want to buy diamond. I am a dealer. This is what my demand. So then you have to specify how many stone and carrots, Anchor. We have diamond in Conakry. We have diamond in Shirelion. We have also diamond in Mali. So I only handle my seller's production. So you need to convince me, Angkor, that you are really a buyer. You cannot just say, ask me, send me the license. I'm not because I don't know you. You need to convince me. That is why I'm live. All right. So can you read it? You read it first, Angkor. Okay. Read it. Then digest it. When you are ready, because I'm going to ask you, Angkor, you are live in front of me. You are on Facebook Live. I'm going to ask your business registration. I'm going to ask your importation license first. And the proof of fund, because there is no point, Angkor, to invite you to come to Sierra Leone, come to Conakry, Guinea, come to Mali, if you don't have the fund. There is no point to, to send you an invitation. So when the seller invites you, meaning to say, you are a real buyer. Most Indians are fake buyer. Excuse me if I see this because I deal with Indian. They are all bargainer. They pretend that they have the money. When they arrive in Sierra Leone or in Conakry or Mali, they keep on bargain, bargain, bargain. What happened? You're going to be stranded. So you make sure, Angkor, that you have money. At least we start with sixty to seventy thousand dollars that you have money in the bank, because you cannot get the diamond without Kimberly certificate anchor. You cannot. You have to place your order first. What you see on my virtual page, this is my online store. You select, then you come back to Alamina, then we will give you the price. Is that make sense, anchor? All right. <clears throat> So, I think I already explained it to you guys. Mm -hmm. So, Anko is here on my live on Facebook. I just finished talking to Ali. That he said he has a buyer. I turned it down. I said to Ali, don't be naive. Because most of the buyer are using online joker broker. Now, the FCO means it stands for full corporate offer. Most of you doesn't understand what is FCO. FCO means full corporate offer. The gold in Africa is 22.54 equals 23. That is an offer to sell it to you in front of you, Mr. Bayer. The carrot is and the purity 96 plus percent that is an offer to sell it to you the origin is Conakry, Mali and Sierra Leone that is an offer that we are selling to the world Wilhelmina is the seller marketing consultant and mandate my job is not an ordinary my job is to tell the world that we are here to do business my job is to assist you being a buyer my job is to interview you whether you are capable to pay or not. If you're asking me CIF, I will reject you right on there. Because it says here, our way of doing business is FOB. No way you can get the gold as credit in Africa. I've been to Africa several times. I have a transaction successful. There is no way you can get supply without this. Why? The seller has an overhead. The seller has to declare that to his government 
that there is a valued added tax. And the seller, the owner of the gold, he has to pay royalty, but you have no idea. Your eyes is bigger than a dollar how much profit. We will give you the profit if you have the money to pay. We will give you the profit. But if you don't have the money to pay, how are you going to get the profit? Uh -huh. We will give you the profit when you show us and prove to us that you are capable to pay. You will get the profit. Now, it says here, okay, when you read the full corporate offer, you need to state that in your company letterhead. What is your position? Meaning to say, are you a buyer or what? Then you have to send a copy of your business registration. Stating that, well, I, mean, I am the real buyer. I want to buy gold or diamond. This is my business registration. This is my company. This is my importation license. This is my passport, Wilhelmina, and this is my bank statement. I am ready to buy your seller's product. It is in here, okay? It is in here. Mm -hmm. So, if you prove that you are a buyer, I'm the one who will determine. I'm the one who will advise my seller to proceed because I'm satisfied with your LOI. So the LOI must address to attention to Wilhelmina. You're going to see, oh, Wilhelmina, on the private, you have to come to a conference. Wilhelmina, I want to buy gold in Conakry, yes. I will forward your information to my head office. I will advise my head office. Let us proceed because I already validated the buyer. Okay. So Wilhelmina, I want to buy gold in money, yes. The same procedure. Oh, Wilhelmina, I want to buy gold and diamond in Sierra Leone. In Sierra Leone, I have a different policy. The government has changed, and the government are very, very strict. Why? There are so many foreigners stuck in Sierra Leone. Most of the seller offering you cheap price. So be aware that the seller will offer you 28 29.30. Please. That is not the price. I'm telling you, I've been to Sierra Leone. The Department of Mines will not issue the clearances. So you need to pay the gold or diamond to the exporter who will process the export documentation in order to reflect into the cash flow. So without that, I can guarantee you, you are going to fail. There is father and son right now in Sierra Leone. He knows me. Huh? He knows me since last year. He has been following me. What happened? He has a local partner. His local partner doesn't know about his country. This father and son, he said he was been scam. I said, how come? You were being a scam. Oh, madam, I pay taxes. I said, why are you going to pay taxes for? Oh, because we're going to bring the gold to Dubai to pay taxes, but the gold didn't arrive in Dubai. And I told this father and son, very simple. The seller cannot give you the certificate of clearance because you have not paid the gold. You only pay taxes. He gave the seller $25,000. Mm-hmm. Then he come to me, but he knows me. He wanted me to help him. I said, no, I cannot help you. I'm not helping anybody. You are creating your own problem. So you have to solve your own problem. Because in our policy, we don't entertain buyer already on the ground. We don't. When you prove to us that you're a real buyer, you only stay in Africa nine working days. Yes, why? To transfer your payment bank to bank, it will take three working days. And then after the clearance of your payment, that is the time the seller will process export documentation. So you have to give allowance because of the time difference. You know Africa are too slow to process. So three working days, okay? Then four working days to wait. Then when the 
process of all export documentation, then you are ready to travel to your destination. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's very, very clear here. And when you pay, you have to make a down payment. Just like when you walk into to any shop or you want to buy or you want to buy a car, you're going to go to the dealer. You're going to have a look on the car, the brand, the car. So you open the door, right? And you look at inside. Of course, the the dealer agent will say, okay, Mrs. Ford, you like the car? So yes, yes, yes. Okay, Mrs. Ford, how are you able to pay? So do we have now a contract, Mrs. Ford? We're going to have a contract. Buying gold, that's also a contract. That is why I put in here. But your, your mentality is completely different. You are not comprehending. Is there anybody explaining to you live? There's none. Even my seller. African seller is as arrogant, you must remember. Yes, I am very, very kind and helpful. I need the buyer and the seller consummate. That is why you need Wilhelmina. My services is very, very important. I am not an agency. This is my platform. This is my online office. Right. But maybe you misunderstood me. That is why you come to Alamina. How many people I have rejected? Thousands. Because you are not paying attention. You're not. So I always say, please read. Maybe sometimes, I, sometimes you annoyed me, Mr. Bayer. Because you are not paying attention. I always say, did you read it? Or did you go to school? Because I did go to school. Yeah? <laughs> and I read it. So, you're going to be insulted if you are not paying attention. Yes, you will be. You know, I remember when I was attending the, the convention in New Zealand. I used to be in multi-level marketing. And I'm top salesperson. I was in real estate. I was number seven. Every time I make a uh, presentation or every time I sell, I'm always top salesperson. Why? Because I know the product knowledge. This is the knowledge I've given you worth a million dollars for free. Yeah. Where are you going to find a broker can give you a lot of information worth a million dollars. I'm very kind and generous. But if you travel on the ground, you need Wilhelmina. <clears throat> Do not travel without Wilhelmina. <clears throat> Do not. Do not travel without invitation either. And do not be carried away with a cheap offer. Do not. This is how you're going to detect Mr. Bayer. And you, Mr. Bayer, you are also tricky. And you are looking for CIA. Mm -hmm. You apply to Ghana, you apply to Mali, you apply to Sierra Leone, you apply to Conakry, or you apply anywhere in Australia, in Mali. Australia, you cannot buy gold here because they will laugh at you. This is cash business. They're going to say, oh, do you have the money? Put money first in the bank before you're going to say the gold. So you cannot buy gold in Ghana, in Australia. You cannot. The mining company in Australia are in Africa. They are in Mali. They are in uh, Canada. They are in Ghana. They are in Sierra Leone. They are in... Uh, Conakry, they are in Burkina Faso, everywhere. Chinese and Australian and Canadian, Russian are in Africa. They are positioning their business. So you cannot buy gold here. You cannot. You cannot buy diamond here. <laughs> so going back to this um, buying of gold and diamond, this is cash business, my love. This is. So when you send a formal letter of intent, you need to be specific. You need it. And you need to convince Wilhelmina. I am the gatekeeper. I hope you understand my logic here. You are entering into the compound of the house. And the gate is locked. I'm just giving you the logic here. So please pay attention on this video. I always give you the parable of business. So that you're going to put that into your brain. Uh -huh. 
So you are entering into Wilhelmina's online store. You see the picture, you read the full corporate offer. Of course, you want to talk to Wilhelmina, right? And Wilhelmina will say, okay, how did you find Wilhelmina? Wilhelmina, I found you on YouTube and on Facebook. Immediately, I'm going to ask you, what did you learn out of my video? And what did you learn about on my Facebook? So you're going to say, oh, I want a gold, okay? And then you're going to ask, well, I mean, how much is the price of the gold? Okay, my question is, did you look at on the world market price of the day? So you as the buyer's mandate or, or a potential buyer, you have to learn how to do the research. Because I am not giving you the food into your mouth. My seller didn't give me the food into my mouth. That is why the seller hired Wilhelmina. Because of my knowledge, when I sell a product, I must understand what is the product I'm about to tell the world that gold is money I'm selling. You're not buying avocado here. <laughs> you're not buying, you're not buying uh, tomato here. You are buying money here. So I am here to tell the world that, hey, we are here to do business. How long you've been searching for this precious item? So you are buying money. You are buying rough diamond. Rough diamond is the girl's best friend, isn't it? And gold is the world asset you are buying. Is that correct? And gold has many uses. Either you're going to make into jewelry, full step. Figurines. There is a golden mobile phone, spare parts inside the mobile phone and inside of the computer. So you need to know what are you buying. So being a trader, you have to know what are you buying. Because you're buying wholesale from us. And then you're going to resell it to your customer in Dubai. Whatever the price of the day, the, sell, the, the buyer will pay a spot price. So we are giving you a discount. But your eyes is bigger than a profit. You bargain, bargain, bargain. No, you walk into the shop, especially Indian shop. You cannot bargain in the jewelry Indian shop. Whatever the price, this is the price, madam. I went to Dubai, you must remember. I know the tricks of Indian. Yeah, so, so you guys, you're lucky to meet Walamina. You are lucky. But I'm very, very frank. I'm very brutal. I'm very strict. Why? This is for you. Because you have been duped before. And I don't want you to repeat it again. Okay? Now, here, after you send a letter of intent, we will send you, we will respond to you, letter of acceptance of your order. Then you will see the vital information of my seller on the company profile because I will determine which seller I'm going to put you after my satisfactory validation. Without my validation, you will not get the gold from my seller. You will not because my seller would not entertain. My seller says, well, Amina, is the buyer real buyer? I said, yes. What did you see on the buyer. Does the buyer has the money, Walamina? This is my seller. I'm going to say, yes, uh, the buyer has the proof of fund. I have the proof of fund and let us now proceed to a response to the buyer because the buyer expect the acknowledgement of his letter of intent to purchase. So we have to respond to the buyer. There, Mr. Buyer, we acknowledge of your order 50 kilos and thank you very much for trusting us so now we will attach the mining license of the seller and the contract we will send the contract to you mr buyer not a blank contract i don't release my seller's vital information to plot around from third party i will only release my seller's information after you, Mr. Buyer, will send me all necessary paperwork to convince us that you are a buyer. 
Without that, I wouldn't believe you're a buyer. So next, you will be rejected. That's why people are scared with Wilhelmina. People doesn't like Wilhelmina. I am not here to like you. In business, I don't need to like you because you are buying money. I have to protect my seller and also I have to assist you that you will not be duped. So that is the reason why I put everything on this video. There is a link. You click on every link. Read it. Don't come to Wilhelmina because you are excited. Do not. Take time. It will take three hours for you to digest. When you are ready, that is the time you come to Alamina. Because I am not rushing, I am not pressuring you. Because when you come on conference, I'm going to ask you, how did you find Wilhelmina on YouTube and on Facebook? What did you learn? And then you're going to say, oh, how much is the price? Well, go back and read. Because there is a price here. There is. See? It is here. Our selling price is FOB. Less 8% maximum of 10 percent yes you must remember when i travel with you i do charge my extra service to accompany you i already given you free information worth a million dollar yes and my services is not for free i'm just very kind and generous yes i just talking to a french guy and he has a business in dubai and he was been window shopping. He saw me on YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And he gave me his website. I'm not convinced. He's, uncle, he's a consultant. Can you imagine that? He's a consultant of his buyer. Can you imagine that? And I can see, I can sense it. So he gave me his website that he has a company in Dubai. That's good because he's a consultant. He opened his company. I am the consultant of the seller. The seller appointed me to market. So I work for the seller. Can you, can, you, can you get the logic here? My job is different from this guy. Yeah. Then another gentleman, he wanted to buy 50 kilos. And he wanted to come to Mali. And he's scared to make a deposit. So don't come. And he's looking to buy gold to sell it to Dubai. I said, don't come. If you're scared, yeah, don't. So you have to wait for Wilhelmina to travel. You have to wait that Australia can have a vaccination because I cannot travel outside because the government will not allow our citizens to travel without vaccination. So I cannot. So I told this buyer, yeah, you have, he showed me that he has 4 million. I said to him, you're scared, but you wait until I travel, I will accompany you. Can you afford to pay my extra service? Because I'm going to charge you. My airfare, hotel, accommodation, and spending money, I do charge you. I don't want to hide you any. There is no surprises. But once I travel with you, everything is spot on. There is no surprises. You only stay there for nine days. I have a transaction successful. There is no surprises. I have the biggest transaction at the moment. 2.5 tons. It took me two and a half months. So the buyer, he saw me on YouTube channel and on Facebook. He go to my virtual office. He believed me. But only joker broker doesn't believe me because they are a scammer. A buyer asking CIF, you are a scammer. Why? Why you are a scammer? I will give you the definition of a scammer. Most of you, you hate my guts. Most of you. Meaning of this camera means you're dishonest. Do I dishonest you? No. I am telling that we are here to do business properly. So you as the buyer asking CI, if you're dishonest. You as buyer asking Elsie, you're also crook. Excuse my language. Yes. <laughs> you're dishonest. You are manipulating. So I would not allow you to manipulate us. Because I can sense that you are not a buyer. No? You are going to launder. You are going to leverage it. So that is the meaning of scam. Most of you say, oh, well, I mean, it's scam, it's scam. How much did I scam you guys? How much? Then you say, accuse me, good luck. 
Good luck to you guys. The more you put me online that you hate my guts, the more real buyer will be intrigued. Oh, I want to talk to Wilhelmina. Yeah? Because the buyer needs a transparency. You're hiding your face. Most of you, you're hiding your face. So a minute you hide your face, I mistrust you. Because when I call you and you don't open your camera, I start to wonder. I just finished having a conference. This gentleman, he has four million. He opened his camera. Yeah. We have a good chat chat. Yeah. Every time you call me, my WhatsApp is automatic. Recorded. Why are you going to be scared to be recorded? Why? The reason why I record it, because I'm going to give you a copy. So that in the future, you will recall what we had conversation. This is for your own benefit. Because I don't want you to muck around with us. I don't want you. So, the conversation that we have live, video call, automatic, you come on WhatsApp and you come on Zoom, you come on Skype, yes, automatic, recorded. So you don't need to be scared with You don't need. A minute you're scared to me, you are a criminal. Because a criminal, they are scared to be identified. That is the reason why you hide your picture. Don't. Look at Wilhelmina. Is Wilhelmina a scammer? How much did I scam you guys? <laughs> There's a guy that in, on YouTube, they keep on uh, putting my um, nasty message. I delete it. Delete that I block him. Mr. Buyer, you don't need to roam, roam around. You don't need to. Wilhelmina is here to help you. Gold business is your oxygen. Oxygen means if you don't have the supply, your business would not function. If you don't have oxygen, you cannot breathe. Right? So you need this gold. Gold is your oxygen into your business. I am using the parable of business. There is no such broker explaining to you like this. None whatsoever. None. And you don't like Wilhelmina because I'm very, very frank. I am cleaning the bad image of Africa. Yes, there's a lot of scammer. Yes, there's a lot of cheater. Yes, there's a lot of dishonest. Yes. Whose fault is that? You. It's your fault. There's someone, someone is sending me a message. I'm going to read again. Okay. Okay, call you face to face. Talk to. Talk to. Well, you already to uh, Ankara. Use your brain, Ankar. You already talked to see me face to face. Ankar, you you use your brain. Okay, you are on Facebook. You see Wilhelmina live. You already saw Wilhelmina, Ankar. Okay, you said okay. Call you face to face. Talk to talk to me, Ankar. You don't even identify yourself. You are watching live, Ankar. This is life. This is Wilhelmina. What, what else you want? You need to show me. You need to call me and open your camera, Ankar. Because believe me, I wouldn't believe that you're a buyer. Ankar, you are from India. You, you have to ask your government to bring gold and diamond. You need to have an importation license. This is not my job to teach you. My job is to sell. It's up to you to bring to your country. You must have an importation license because every country has an importation duty. I'll give you an example. Ankar, you are watching me. Last year, I sent a package. Okay? DHL, one box. The DHL opened my box to inspect what is inside. And the value of my package is 544.40. DHL charge me the shipping cost and insurance. That is normal. You have to pay the shipping cost and insurance. But you are paying the gold and the diamond. There is a value added tax on rock, diamond, and gold. So the package arrived in my destination to my loved one. My loved one paid importation duty. That is normal. Yeah. So you guys are scared. 
So, ikaw, you, Angkar, you need to pay attention. Do not just pretend to be dumb dumb because I'm telling you, if you're dumb dumb, my gosh, you can see my language. Can you see how I speak? Because I done this purposely because I want to correct you guys. You're all crooked. Yeah. You're scared. If you're scared, don't be involved in this precious item. I am a woman from Australia. I travel to Africa. I don't have any security guard. Why should I be scared? Because the seller heard, Wilhelmina. I will bring you to the office. My seller will welcome you. And believe me, if you be with Wilhelmina, you will not be disappointed because I will treat you like a baby. Why? You paid my services and I'm going to be with you from the beginning to the end. But if you're going to cut corner and you go behind my back, yes, you will fail. That is why I'm charging my extra service. If you cannot afford Ankar, please don't proceed. You can travel to Africa. Someone offer you, go for it. There is an Indian here. Father and son, he knows me. He was looking for cheap rice. He's asking for CIF. Now he is in Sierra Leone. He's stranded. He said he was been scammed. That's not my fault. He said he paid taxes to bring the gold to Dubai. Well, the government would not give the seller a clearance. I told his father and son, you have to have a cash. You need to pay the gold plus valued added tax. Plus you have to pay the cost and insurance. But most of you are... Oh. My seller says to me, well, Amina, buyer asking CIF are bigger. Buyer asking LC have no money. They are bigger. Mm -hmm. So probably you are also a bigger. Because why you ask for CIF? Why you ask for cost insurance and freight only? Why not pay the products? That is normal. You have to pay shipping. Because did you not remember a few minutes ago? I explained on how DHL charged me to use their services. You have to pay the shipper, the shipper who will prepare for you. And you need to insure the products because in case the product will be missing, you can claim the two insurance, but you don't have the money. You're only asking for CIF. Reject. You're going to be rejected. Yes? You know how tough is Walamina. That is the reason why my seller loves me. Good on you, madam. Tell the world that we are not a scammer. There is an scammer. There is a dishonest people in Africa. In this world, there are two kinds of people. Yeah? Even in Australia, there is also dishonest. Even in America, there is also dishonest. Everywhere, even in Dubai, there is also dishonest. Because money is the root of evil. Gold is money. Your ass is bigger than a profit. But believe me, when I was in Dubai, immediately I can sense that buyers is joker. Mostly are Indians. Pakistani, Indians, the foreigners, they are using Dubai. Dubai is a nice country. But you guys, you are abusing that country. You are there pretending that you have a registration, pretending, but you don't have the cash. You are asking for CIF. You just show me your business license. I don't believe you guys. I would believe you if you can show me proof of fun. I will believe you. That business registration is only a piece of paper. Show me your bank banking details. I will believe you. Don't you know my seller is more richer than you? Yeah? My seller is more richer than you. He owned the mines. He owned the building. He has 15 cars. So... You're asking CIF to me, you're a bigger according to my seller. Yeah. So therefore, don't be naive and don't be dishonest to yourself so that you will not be called as a scammer or doji. You're aging, aging buyer. You don't need to. You need to be professional. You need to. I will be traveling after I would get the vaccination because I'm going to supervise my big buyer. I don't deal you guys a small timer. Asking CIF 1 kilo, 2 kilos, no. If you have $1 million, yes, I will believe you. Yes? 
If you have one million dollars or two millions, then I believe that you have a buyer. You are a buyer. If you have sixty thousand buying diamond, show me to me that you have one hundred thousand. I might consider. I will help you to negotiate the best price. But be fair. Don't be crook. Okay, you're a bargainer. Mostly our Indians, Pakistani Indians. When I was in Dubai, I interviewed a lot of Indians. There's no Indian meet my standard. Most of my buyers are European, Americans, because European understand the business. Yes, Indians are gold lover. They wanted to become rich. Yes, Indians are gold lover. There's good and in bad Indians. There are also good and bad Australians. There's also good and bad Filipinos. There's also good and bad Chinese. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I think I already explained to you. Ankar, you come and call me on private. Open your camera. You watch my video already, Ankar. Make sure when you come to Alamina, make sure you show me the proof of fund. Then I would believe you're a buyer. But don't waste my time because you already watch Alamina on live. You leave a message here, right? So make sure you can prove to me what are you looking for. So I think I already explained to you guys. Just read it. Everything is in here. Oh, very clear. Huh? Very, very clear. Very clear. Impossible you don't understand. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good evening. Today is Sunday. I work overtime just because of you guys. Mm -hmm. I will help you to get what you are looking for. But you have to show me that you have the fun. This is not a credit business. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good evening. See you on WhatsApp and Skype.